Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Whiteboard Wednesdays with Vanna. So today we're going to delve a little bit deeper into the components that make up the Omniverse. Now we've spoken about the Omniverse before and we've mentioned that this is a collaborative space that really creates a virtual environment where creators and publishers can get together and design digital uh, digital environments that they can use to render various various different things so when we pair this with AI we have the ability to build simulators we can see uh, 3d renditions of something we can build entire worlds and simulate the condition of that world in the Omniverse itself and through this digital collaboration we can span anywhere in the planet where you know the like-minded people might be that's actually going to be working on these projects but let's delve a little bit, open the hood, and see what is in the Omniverse. How does it actually kind of fit together? So we're just going to look at the broad uh, components. And the first one, the most important one really that makes uh, Omniverse work, is effectively a component called the Nucleus. Now the Nucleus is a very good name for this because it's really the center of the Omniverse, right? So I must make sure that I spell correctly, uh, my Dutch blood coming out here. So Nucleus is where all these different virtual worlds are hosted right so we have our virtual worlds and virtual areas so think of it as almost like a, a neighborhood of neighborhoods that you can actually create inside here now this particular element of the omniverse you can either host in your own data center or this can be a cloud version which uh, which NVIDIA is basically launching now as well pretty soon and you can already get uh, get early access or request early access to actually enter the the nucleus component within within their cloud so once you create these collaboration spaces or these worlds that you'll be working in then obviously you need something to connect to it from your area wherever you are and they've come up with a fantastic name for that it's called the connector which is so very good in describing it because that's exactly what it does. Now, Nucleus works in a, um, a sub-pub or subscription slash publishing model, which means that it's bi-directional. You can subscribe to various different worlds, so you don't have to you know, subscribe to all of them. You can pick the ones that you want to work with, and then you can also you know, get publishing from your elements that you create over here. Let's say you create some form of 3D element. You can actually publish that element to those worlds, and that's how that world then gets created. So anybody that uh, has access uh, and has a connector that can run on their workstation or on their laptop, they can basically do all of their development based on their, their, their environment that they're working on or the environment that they're trying to create and then subscribe or publish to those various worlds within the Omniverse nucleus that they've created for themselves. Now those are the two primary components that are required but there's three more. Depending on what type of work you do you'll have a RTX renderer which helps you to obviously render 3D objects. They plug in through SDKs, um, they plug in to these software development kits into the various tools that you'll use to actually create your artifacts that you're going to be publishing within the Nucleus. And then there's also a simulator, but that simulator is specifically a physics simulator. So if you want to model wind flow or water flow or any kind of natural environment, you will use that simulator to do that so not only are you creating objects but also you can create and simulate the conditions that influence those objects or the actual um, influence that the object has on its environment really really powerful stuff and this is the way things are going to be designed going into the future so maybe leave a, a comment for us on what you think some of the applications for this might be we've seen this being used uh, in, in various ways and the latest one or one of the big kind of massive projects that NVIDIA is working on is to effectively create a simulated digital twin of the entire planet and they're calling it Earth 2 and effectively trying to see what type of weather patterns uh, are simulated what happens to the planet when when they do that so if you want to go and see how this is actually being applied in some really really fancy way go and have a look at the earth 2 project and uh, you'll actually start seeing how these components are making sense 
So that was our brief overview of what Omniverse is consistent of and how it's actually going to be used and how you can get those components to make it work. Thank you very much for joining us today for our episode on Whiteboard Wednesdays with Dan. Please don't forget to like, share and follow our LinkedIn page.